Hi, this is Randall with Carter Hill Honeybees in Northwest Alabama. I have a yard near my home that I'm going to have to move due to the uh, owners of the property. They're going to uh, they're going to make some adjustments on their property. This is going to require me to move my bees. So, uh, for me, the easiest solution to this is to simply move these bees to another yard. And I'll set me up another place in here and bring some more bees back. This will keep me from having to move the hives basically twice or worrying about repositioning them in here. Since I have screen bottom boards this time, I just utilize some Gorilla Tape and tape up my auger hole and the entrance down there. It got down pretty chilly last night. It's probably about 35 degrees right now. Uh, I see one, or there's one bee's come out to check me out. Still should be a pretty good time to move the bees before it gets warm. It's supposed to get up to around 60 today. Uh, she done me a favor and run back in, so I won't have to leave her behind. Okay, next I'm gonna take a ratchet strap and strap all these boxes together. I'll begin by throwing it up under there. Come around the other side and I hook the loops through each other. And this will hold all the boxes together good for me as I load them up and haul them. It helps if you don't stand on your strap, too. Pull the slack out of this. And there they are, they're ready to load up. Well, I'm going to use my beehive lifter. This is basically the first time I've used it, so I'm not really used to it. I'm not going to be smooth as probably with somebody more experienced, but I'm going to demonstrate how it works. I got used to the getting the high blacks up in there. It uh, definitely makes this a one man job. Just have to figure out where to get the weight balanced on it just right. All right, I'm about to try to pick up my last one here. Size heel, so. All right, we got all five colonies loaded up on the trailer and secure. Now we're going to make our way to the their home destination yard and put them out there. Last September, probably mid month, I was here working my bees one day and a swarm flew flew up here and settled on the limb above my head right there. Well, they stayed here. Uh, they stayed here to about Halloween and I come over here one day making a check and they was gone but they left those nice combs up there. And from the side here you can see there's, uh, should be able to see that there's three combs left up there. So I thought that was pretty cool. Alright, we've got to the new location of our colonies here. This is actually my first out yard. I've actually had bees here for about 14 years now. This place has been real good for me. Uh, the property owner here has a lot of fruit trees, apple trees, and uh, he's really pleased to have the bees over here. He says they benefit his trees and his gardening very well. I had moved them out of here last fall because he had thinned out this timber, 
and also you can see that partially dead tree over there a couple years back it got struck by lightning and it seemed like a chain reaction to several of these pine trees that died and i moved my bees out here last fall to give an opportunity to uh, kind of cut some of these down and clear them off uh, i've already had a couple to kind of fall on some boxes in the past safe and secure to get them back over here. Uh, his his uh, fruit trees will be blooming in the next few weeks so this will give the bees opportunity to, to get settled in and scout out this area. So let's go ahead and get started. All the highs in position unstrapped and the very last step I'm going to do is remove the tape and uh, it's done warmed up quite a bit it's probably pushing 55 it's really windy now I find it's better to take the entrance tape off and then the, the hole so I'm going to demonstrate it uh, I'm going to be prepared to run in case the bees come falling out of there because we hauled them about seven miles a successful move appreciate you joining us today and watching this video if you like hit the like and subscribe button and we'll see you the next time